Uh, good evening, Navika. No, as I have said it before, the only unsolved issue now left in Kashmir is that the Kashmiri Hindus, seven lakh of them, haven't been brought home. Can there be reconciliation without remembrance? Crime without comeuppance? Can there be death without deliverance? Can there be justice without Nuremberg? But before I come to the thrust of my thesis, because the question you asked was about the Prime Minister's uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, little speech, where he talked about the freedom of speech and expression and the ecosystem, there is no doubt that the Congress is guilty. There are so many other guilty parties as well, responsible for this genocide and exodus. But the fact of the matter is, when we are talking just of the films, it is very high and mighty of the Congress to talk about freedom of expression because this is where, uh, you know, our history bo books don't tell us the truth. So here is the list of the films and plays banned under the Congress. Congress banned the film Nastik, banned Ritwik Ghatak's Amar Lenin, charged Utpal Dutt with sedition for Duswa Player Nagri, jailed him for seven months for Kalol, filled a, filed a police complaint against Netflix for referring to Rajiv Gandhi as Fattu, film Gandu was banned, banned Sham Benigal's Nishant, banned film No Fire Zone, Ashwin Kumar's Inshallah Football was banned, banned Amol Palekar's Vasang Khan, banned the film Jharna, banned Vijay Tendulkar's Gidade, banned Jugnu, banned Amol Palekar's Thang, banned Shankaram Binder, banned Pratap Sharma's A Touch of Brightness, banned Kiran Nagarkar's Bedtime Story, censored, refused to broadcast Shashi Kapoor's iconic New Delhi Times, demanded a ban on Padmavati, banned two songs from Fir Subai Hogi, attacked Utpal Dutt's play Nightmare City with bombs, deleted one entire song by the legend Pradeep, banned Balrat Sani's Jadu Ki Kursi, banned fourth part of Utpal Dutt's Insurgent Theatre, banned Ganga Jamna, banned Hari Prada Master, banned IPTA, denied film certificate to Papilo Buddha, banned Prakash Jha Faces After the Storm, banned Samskara, demanded a ban on Parasakti, banned Nightingale Kamansaki, banned Nukula's Innocent of Muslims, arrested makers of Kabri Nadi Chevanapol, banned Bhul Na Jana, banned Johar Film Nasbandi, banned Anderson's Rajiv India, banned Louis Mal Phantom India, banned Jesus Christ Superstar, demanded a ban on film Dam Maro Dam, Nishabd, Kya Super Cool Hai Hum, banned MS Satyus Garam Hawa, banned Me Nathuram Godse Boltoi, banned the book and the film Nine Hours to Rama, banned playwright M.M. Emptonis play The Sixth Sacred World Wound of Christ, Da Vinci Code was banned, demanded cuts in the film Rajniti, Arakshan was banned, Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom was banned, Amu was banned, Gokul Shankar was banned, Prithvatum was banned, Tango Charlie was banned, demanded a ban on Hey Ram, demanded a ban on Namu Sone Gamo, demanded a ban on film Archun Reddy, demanded a ban on the song Bharat Mata Ki Jai from film Shanghai, demanded a ban on Rangde Basanti, passed only after minister said yes, Congress demanded a ban on film Hindu Sarkar, banned S.C. Goswami's film Rumumi, banned The Last Temptation of Christ, banned Had Anahad, demanded a ban on Hey Ram Naturam, Navika just 20 seconds, banned Satya Itre Sikkim, Palm the Hire on 84 Genocide was banned. Sada Huck was banned. Hawaii on 84 Genocide was banned. Neelakshar Nietzsche was banned. Banned the film Andi. Banned the film Kissa Kursi Ka. And these guys are now saying, these guys are saying that we uphold freedom of speech and expression. These guys were saying that the answer to a film is another film. Where is their film? Why do they want to ban this film? Navika, can you please yeah, mute yeah, him? Yeah, because this yeah, is a very serious topic. Yeah, yeah, television, let television, let television, not some clown get some time and that to my time, eat into my time, to display his rank yes. ignorance and stupidity. I request. No, this is not stupidity. So I will be quiet. One minute, one minute, Maji Dhaidri. I'll have to lower your fader. Dr. Anand Ranganathan is making a point I, and I'm running out of time. Dr. Anand Ranganathan. Yes, I want to make two points. One for the erudite Mr. Chaudhary, Ribatim, and the other, uh, the question was asked directly to me uh, by Dr. Raman, uh, so I must answer that. Two very serious points I want to make. Number one, and here if I may, Navika, may I gently also castigate you when you say we should not make this situation communal. You must realize that the exodus and the genocide of the Kashmiri Pandits was entirely communal, bigoted, based on religious fanaticism. You must read The Moon Has, Our Moon Has Blood Clots by Rahul Pandita. You must watch the documentary by one of your panelists here, Ashok Pandit, The World Has Forgotten Us. It will be amply clear that chants from the mosques on that night, fateful night of 19 Jan 1990 said, Kashmiri Pandit men, you leave, leave your women here, convert or die. It was totally bigoted, communal, fanatic attack. That is the truth. It was based on religion. Politics came later, and as proof, 
Let me tell you, let me quote directly from one of the instigators, Gilani. Let me g give you a glimpse into his world, a world of hatred for India and Hindus. And these are taken directly from his book, Nawai Huryat. I am quoting him verbatim. Number one, Muslims are a calm, wholly separate from the Hindus. Muslims are a complete separate nation on the basis of their religion, culture, civilization, customs and practices and thought. The nationalism and foundation of their unity cannot be based on their homeland, race, language, color or economic system. The basis of their unity is Islam and Islam alone. Another quote, Kashmir must become an Islamic state. Our goal is the establishment of the Islamic government. Our struggle is for the sake of Islam. Another quote, Islam removes people from the slavery of people, but secularism makes the people slaves of Delhi. Another one, I plead with the Afghan Mujahideen well. to come forward to help liberate us from India. I can give you so many quotes verbatim. So please do not call it a non-religious thing. It was an exodus, it was a genocide based on religion and religion alone. Now point number two, Mr. Suman, Dr. Suman Raman, you are absolutely correct. But had you been revisiting what I've been saying for five years, you would have realized that I'm the first one. First one to criticize this government that they have been sitting idle for eight years and they have not done anything. In fact, yesterday I said, I tweeted, only 520 Kashmiri Hindus have been made to return home after Article 370 was abrogated. Well, if I was the Prime Minister, I would have made sure that was my first, my first aim to rehabilitate all 7 lakh Kashmiri Hindus as soon as And our job will and not be done till done. each and every last Kashmiri Hindu comes back to Kashmir. That is a promise we as a nation should make to ourselves. Not just expect governments to do this for us. It has to be our voice, our support that goes out to our brothers and sisters to make their return possible.